Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? I wanted to come on today and give a little bit of instruction because of what I felt that the Ruach told me today. So I pray that it's received and also helps helps us to understand what a lot of people are struggling with right now. You know, there's there's folks that are really having a hard time with apathy trying to set in on them and also things within themselves that are driving them batty uh, and most people seems like that they have gotten into a place where I look around at people and people reach out to me for counsel and all this but there's a lot of struggling going on in the body, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I see it. And I see it within myself, okay, that it's like a gradual kind of a process. If we don't catch it, you know, we get kind of swept up into it for a while. So, the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Breath, gave me a scripture for all of you guys. It is Matthew 24, 12. And it's a short little scripture. And it says, because iniquity abounds, the love of many shall wax or grow cold. That word wax also means grow. So if you look at grow, like it takes a while for a, a little tiny seed to sprout and make a plant. And the demonic will put weeds in our mind. So instead of it being a fruitful garden for father it gets entangled with weeds and I'm seeing it all around even in believers where because of the attacks that are coming from the adversary right now in the form of distractions and people their lives are just busy busy, 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 busy. Okay. And my apostle told me the acronym for the word busy. And he said, bound under Satan's yoke, <laughs> which I can absolutely see what he was talking about. Busy. Kind of like that, that hamster on that wheel, chicka, 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 you know, until they're just exhausted. And then they just kind of flop around and then they'll get a second win and then back on that, that wheel again. Or a gerbil, however you, whichever little rodent you want to see. But, so what happens in that is that our focus ends up, we get so embroiled in the cares of life that affect us personally, you know, so we become self-focused in that. And that is exactly by design. That's what he wants us to do because the birth of self, the autonomous self is what happened at the fall. You know, we, they, they started with this mind thing and I've talked about this many times. And if you guys go back to the introduction to the project board video, 
you'll see the two trees and the characteristics there. And that is the mystery of iniquity. So the focus on this fivefold senses, not fivefold, the five senses world, see, taste, touch, hear, smell, keeps us in, in the fleshly or this fallen state, you know, this right here that we live in versus our focus where it needs to be is in the kingdom, which is also in here and doing things the way that the father's kingdom does things. Now the process of love growing cold, like I said, it happens gradually. And then before you know it, you just have this dead heart. It like, it doesn't feel anything or you, you begin to not care about things. And this process by the adversary is done to get the love of father out of you. Okay. Because love is the absolute fiber and essence that the father is actually made of. It's the substance of his being. So if you really look at the technicality of that, if the whole entire substance of father is love and we begin to grow cold in that, then the literal assault there is to get the father out of you. <laughs> okay. The adversary is a very cunning and sneaky enemy. He, he's always, always doing things to come against the Yeshua in you, trying to get you over into the five senses, the cares of life, all that, so that you become weak. You unplug from Father. And you guys, I'm saying these things from experience. And don't think that yours truly here doesn't go through the same battles, because I do, day in and day out. Okay? It's just part of it. You know, we're all looking for that relief, that that thing where it's just like, oh, just make it stop, you know, and it's not going to. It hasn't since the fall at the tree in the garden, and it's going to continue until Yeshua comes, and we all are, we end up after that process in the new Jerusalem, okay, new heaven and new earth. That's the only time that's going to stop. Because Yeshua is going to come put a stop to it. Praise his holy name for that. But in the meanwhile, we're stuck here. Working out our salvation daily with fear and trembling. Okay. But the one thing that I urge you to not allow. Is that your love growing cold. Because if you. We look around and we stop loving our brethren okay the scripture says that he who does not love his brother the love of the father is not in him okay if we're not feeling that if we're not feeling the heart of the father which is love immense immense tremendous un unfathomable amounts of love if we're not feeling any of that and we're not looking to get more of that, then we've got a big problem. And I've, I've, I've noticed that happening with so many, you know, people in the world, the world, okay, the, uh, that are not in the fold. But unfortunately, I'm seeing it in the fold also. And so it's, it's an assault, okay? 
And so what do we do to defend against that? Well, we pull, we plug into the charger. Okay. Like we, we plug our cell phones in, charge that battery up. Okay. We plug into the charger. Well, who's the charger? The father, right? We've got to, we've got to go and talk to him about this and say, look, my heart is sick. My spirit is sick. My soul is sick. Father, help me. Help me. Show me what to do. Fill me with yourself. Holy Spirit, come and fill me with your oil and light my lamp again. Because where there's no, no love, there's darkness. The absence of light. Okay, and I'm not saying anything new agey here. I'm talking about what the scripture talks about with the virgins right for them and we're urged to keep our our oil we're urged to keep our lamp lit right our wicks trimmed okay and all that so that we're we're able to to walk with him to not be so estranged from him that we miss his call you know if we're dry, it's very, very difficult to get into his presence. It's very difficult to walk holy because what happens is, is we get so estranged and it isn't because Yeshua moves. We're the ones that float away. We, we wander off and then we wonder what's going on. And that is because we neglect things. And I know this from experience. Okay, we're talking about yours truly here. If I neglect any part of my walk, okay, the adversary is right there, ready to just pull me off, okay, and then get me all caught up in life and all these things. Our life is the kingdom. This world is not the world of the living. It's the world of the dying. It's the world of everyone going through death throes. Why? Because we're still, they're still under the curse. But to learn to live, to learn to be alive, is to focus on the kingdom, to learn Father's kingdom, to become more and more full of the image and likeness of Yeshua and to surrender all things that do not look like him, surrender that, go to his feet and let those things break there, you guys. And I have to do the same thing. None of us are immune to this. And I don't care some big major name out there. Okay. If they are not going through issues and they're not, they're not, asking you to pray for them and and to co co keep them covered in their walk there's a problem there's a big problem there because none of us have arrived yet i don't know anyone who has achieved translation yet and you know i could be wrong they might be out there on the fringes you know but as far as people that i know people that I can discern and look into, they're covering up and they're, they're not being truthful if they say that they are not going through these things. Every single one of us struggles with our love walk, okay? Love is life. The opposite, the polar opposite of that is death and darkness and it's those two kingdoms right so which one are we going to live in which which one are we going to serve lovelessness is completely estranged from father and if we find ourselves in that there's hope we have to start seeking Father. Going back and, and looking where we fell from, 
like Yeshua said uh, in the book of Revelation, when he's talking to the church of Laodicea, La Laodicea, whatever you call it, the lukewarm church. <laughs> he said to go back and remember where you fell and repent. See, if we, we don't have love in us, then we're not loving Father either. And he talks about that in that scripture. You've lost your first, excuse me, first love. And so he gives a remedy for that. He tells us what to do. So to walk independently in the autonomous self or the soul, and to be governed by our emotions and the thoughts of, of the mind of man will estrange us because it's opposite of Father. So I wanted to come on and, and kind of say something about this because I look around and I see really that nobody really cares. <laughs> or they care so long as it's convenient for them or on their terms. Or if their life isn't so busy, you know, they, they, they don't care. And that is a red flag to me that tells me the temperature of what's going on. So we need to pray for each other also in this. Like get a, get a compassion in our heart for one another and, and look at it and see what's going on here. We're under attack. Every last one of us is under attack. Because why? Because the adversary knows what's coming. And he and his seed are fortifying everything that they think they need. Which is what we need to do. Not fortifying in their way, but fortifying in the kingdom, okay? It's a dangerous place to be out of your love walk. And I know this from experience because apathy, see all, there's a whole battalion, battalions upon battalions of demons out there. Apathy, lovelessness, self-focus. Now, it doesn't mean we're selfish if we're a giving person, if we know to share and everything. It's different. A self-focus is all about what's going on with oneself. So, apathy, lovelessness, self-focus, okay? frustration, agitation, anxiety, Pressure, you know, all these things are the names of the demons that are coming at us. Because I, you know, I've said this very, very many times, but I'll say it again. Again, I say their names are what they do. And we can tell. We don't have to be real slick to understand which one of them or ones of them are coming and and trying to beat up on us we can read the fruit of what it produces in us and that will tell us what they're whispering do, 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 putting weeds in our mind right so that it filters down to the heart and really becomes a bigger problem we can gauge that a tree is known by its fruit known well, how do you know someone? You know them by their name, right? That's their identity. So they they rat themselves out. They're not that slick, really, once you learn to, to watch out for them. But another part of being loveless is, is we've got a spirit, you know, a person who is loveless, cold and dead in their heart. They don't care. They become callous. Okay, they're under the influence of an antichrist spirit. 
because it comes against the Christ in you. You see? So, because it, it's absolutely, it produces the absolute opposite. So I wanted to leave you guys with this today because I really felt Father urging me to tell us that we need to work on our love walk. Loving one another, having love for the lost, but also absolute vital importance is to love him, be in love with him. Okay, and so that's all I have for you today. I know it's a short video, but that's all I have for you today. And I'm, I'm considering, I'm, I'm praying on it, of opening up discipleship training on Zoom for anybody that might be interested because there's a lot of us who are not in traditional church, and that's a good thing, <laughs> but still needing spiritual parenting and training, discipleship, because that is part of, of what we're supposed to do also is to make disciples, right? So um, if anyone's interested in that, I will put my... I will put my, my email, uh, I'll put it in pinned comment form for you to contact me and let me know if you're interested. That way I have your email addresses and then I can email you guys back. So in order to walk in the kingdom, you must understand the kingdom and that's what I'm offering. So um, anyway, that's it. Okay, you guys love you so much. Uh, stay close. Run to the shepherd. Stay very close to him, okay? And um, that's it for now, all right? Blessings, shalom, and much love. Until next time, bye-bye.